Hello and welcome to Sea Friendly Reef. Some of you didn't know that you can keep clams in reef tanks. So today we are going to take a closer look at these animals and our first stop is by Marcel. These beautiful creatures belong to the Mollusca family. In the aquarium we usually keep the Tridacna species. This is a subfamily of the giant clams. Whether it's a Squamosa, Maxima or Derasa, we still call them giant clams. I can well imagine why these scientific names are often not easy to remember. I do have troubles too, but practice is the key. Ostrachionrhinorhynchios On the Sea Friendly Reef channel we have already seen a few different clams. For example, Basti had a large Tridacna derasa in his SPS tank. This is a large and awesome animal. In stores we usually find the Maxima which is a very common clam. With its bright blue colors and a perfect size for the aquarium, it quickly tempts to buy. But what do you have to consider? To find that out, I have visited Marcel. Marcel has that beautiful mixed reef tank and a lot of experience with clams. His Tridacna derasa is with a diameter of about 60 cm almost fully grown. This clam is about 15 to 20 years old. Derasas live in shallow and warm waters around Australia, Fiji and most parts of Asia. Once they've reached a certain size, they don't have to hold on some soil ground anymore. So they just stand in the sand or a reef edge. This makes them easy to place in the reef tank. But as you can see, these animals grow quite big. And if they don't have enough space, they'll make some. If a clam in this size snaps, the aquarium can overflow quickly. They've got a lot of power. If such an animal comes fresh into an aquarium, it is often very sensitive. The smallest change in light or any movement around it make the clam close its shell. Meanwhile, Marcel can even stroke his giant clam, because it has been sitting at this place for a long time. According to Marcel, it is especially important to check alkalinity and calcium. Clams need this to build their shells, just like the SPS corals. But they don't build shells, they build their selections. However, these animals can also do photosynthesis. And what do you need for a photosynthesis? Correct, light. So it is very important for keeping clams to have a correct lightning. Clams really do have the most amazing colors and shapes. And the best thing is that these animals can be bred in farms. So it is actually not need to buy wild collected clams. My buddy Cedric just ordered a few Tridacna Maxima from a farm in Egypt. Yeah, so I take this one. Uh, this one. <laughs> One last word for beginners. I would recommend you to buy a bigger animal. Clams under 5 cm often need special feeding and are more sensitive. Also you need enough place in your reef tank, because when they spawn it is like putting a bottle of milk in your reef tank. Marcel gave me some pictures of that. Bah! <laughs> Crazy. 
Alright, so I hope this video gave you a little overview of the Tridacna species and yeah, maybe see you next time.